Hi, I'm Dan from DobermanDan.com and today I want to talk to you about uh, some of my personal heroes and that would be entrepreneurs and especially what I call brick and mortar business owners. I'm a kitchen table entrepreneur. I start, uh, I start businesses that can be d run virtually, online businesses or mail order businesses. Uh, where I can uh, farm out fulfillment and customer service and and just work out of my home but I have just tons of respect for a brick-and-mortar business owner somebody who starts a restaurant or any kind of uh, business that requires a location uh, like this month I've been helping a buddy of mine open up a recording studio and it's amazing the investment you have to make and the commitments you have to make to start a brick and mortar business so so you guys are my heroes and I want to do something to help you today the biggest area I see brick and mortar businesses um, falling down in or the, the biggest mistake I see them making is not capturing uh, their prospects contact information or customers contact information in the mail order business or in the online business, that's uh, you know business 101 for us. Uh, we don't survive if we don't capture prospects and, and 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 customers' contact information. But brick and mortar business owners tend to just rely on just store traffic, just people coming in. Let me give you a quick tip: when people come into your store. Why don't you go ahead and take a few extra steps to capture their contact information. That would be name, uh, mailing address, phone number, and email address. And you could do that by having a little contest. You're going to give away a trinket or something like that. Or you know, tell them every month you're going to have a special discount for them that you'll send them in the mail. And definitely contact or, or, or capture your contact information for your customers. The purpose of this is so you can contact them over and over again to get them to come back into the store to buy more stuff rather than just relying on traffic to come into the store. A friend of mine who owns a music store up in Ohio did this and um, he tried it once. He did an event and, uh, and promoted it through the mail through a, a, a simple uh, number 10 envelope mailing. Uh, mail to the people, the, the prospects and customers he captured their contact information from and he said it was the most profitable thing he ever did and continued to do that month after month. So uh, brick and mortar business owners, uh, you're my heroes. I appreciate you and try this little tip to increase your business. I think you'll be glad you did. I'm Dan from DobermanDan.com. Thanks.